So if you're facing login issues in Epic Games Launcher or in Fortnite on your Android phone, here is a video where I'll show you some simple steps in order to fix this problem. So a couple of days ago I did made a video on this and around 90% of players are getting the help from that but this video is mainly for those 10% for those it's not working. So first and foremost I'm just going to simply launch the game. So I've just updated the game and it was around 13 to 14 GB if I remember and I think the chapter 2 remix is here. So I have updated the game and I have not launched the game yet and also my Epic Games account is not signed in. When it is it's going to sign in into the Google account and then it's going to link it to Fortnite. It's not signed in yet. So let's see whether it's going to show us that page where we have to exactly sign in, put our credentials and then sign in. And that's where most of the players get the issue. So let it load. I'm gonna just gonna fast forward this. So I'm on this page where it is saying that login with Epic Games. So I'm just gonna click on this. And as you can see, it has opened the Chrome browser or any kind of browser you're having. So I'm gonna just choose Chrome over here. And it's gonna open the page where I have to put my credentials. As you can see, it is asking me to sign in or create an account. So I, since I already have an account, so I'm just gonna click on sign in. And this is where all the problem happens and where you put the credentials and then you're gonna see issues and all those kind of things. So over here, you have to be a bit more careful. The things are very simple and it's very easy to bypass these kind of errors. The server is not able to recognize your password. So for this, if I have to put my credentials or I can simply use my Google account directly to sign in without putting my password. But just in case you have to put your password because I didn't tell this in the previous video. So if in case you have to put your password, let's suppose I randomly put something over here and suppose my password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just for an example. And I'm clicking on the sign in and obviously it's not gonna work because the password is wrong. But let's say you have put your correct email and correct password, but still it's not working. You could click on forget password over here. It's gonna come to this page. Here you don't have to do anything, just simply go back to sign it. That's it. I know it's very strange but I don't know how it works. Now you put your credentials you're going to see that it's going to sign in. Same password without any problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Google account directly in order to sign in because it's linked with that. So as you can see I have already signed in with my account and it's logged in and if you can see the bottom it's checking the server queue and everything and I'm pretty sure that it's going to sign in without any problems because I have done all the steps which are required in order for it to not show me any kind of error. But generally in these circumstances, many players face issues. I'm going to get to it. So as you can see over here, it's signing in and this is my ID. Everything's working perfectly fine. I can play the games and everything. It's perfectly fine. So this is not the issue over here. I'm just going to log off from here because I want to show you the error, how it happens. And then, so this is one, one more error, which shows a successful logout. I have logged out but when somebody try to sign in they get this kind of issues. So I can already launch the game. So the first and foremost thing, whatever issue you're getting in the login phase, we're gonna switch the sign in with the group. And this is also kind of a strange kind of trick which I found out that when you directly switch you can easily sign in into the game. For this what you have to do is say I'm clicking on this. So what you have to do when you're clicking on this and whatever browser you're having. So let's say I'm opening Google Chrome. So once it opens immediately go back and then log in again. So you have to do it as fast as possible. When Chrome opens don't let it open just immediately press the back button. And then the next time you click on login this time let Chrome open fully. Once it opens fully since I've already logged in with the Epic Games launcher in the browser. As you can see there is my account so I can simply continue but you have to put your credentials. Once you have put your credentials it will log in as same as this as you can see right now and then you're able to log in perfectly. So as you can see it's logging in. So let me fast forward this a bit and as you can see I didn't face any issues it's working perfectly fine. If this doesn't help what you can do is you go. Next step what you can try is I'm going to go into settings over here in your phone. You could have any phone any kind of interface of the phone in the settings tab but here you have to find the battery settings which is over here and you're going to go to advanced settings and then click on optimize battery use. So you're going to find Fortnite and Epic Games launcher. As you can see both of them one is here and one is here. First I'm going to click on Fortnite and you have to choose don't optimize. Be very careful to know that don't optimize is selected for Fortnite. Next step click on Epic Games choose don't optimize again but generally it's not required for you to not to optimize the epic games launcher you can choose this as always ask also but fortnite it is mandatory make sure this is don't optimize once this is done you go back now one additional way which you can try is that many players that are trying is they are trying to put their email and their password and they try to sign in but they getting the issues but if you see just have a, you have a lot of other options. So let's say you're an Xbox player, you can directly sign in through Xbox. If you're a PlayStation player, you can directly sign to PlayStation. You can use a Google ID, Nintendo Switch, Steam, anything which you have. 
So I would highly recommend you use these things rather than putting your ID and email ID and the password because these are very much handy compared to the signing in process. So many players who are getting the issue of sign in, if they choose any of these, then they're not getting the issue and they can directly jump into the game. So choose any of them, whichever you have. Let's say you have more than one, you can choose either of them. It's perfectly fine. So that's why I generally search Google and then my account come and then I can simply sign in over there. So it's very easy to do that. So I would recommend you to choose any of the account from here. Now, if in case you're choosing Google and your account is not coming, then what you can do is you can simply go to the settings over here and then find user and accounts and go to Google. And as you can see, these are all my Google accounts which are joined over here. So you can just simply sync in with them. Or if you want to add, you just go back over here and you can see over there, add account is there. You can just choose add account and add a Google account or whichever account you want. You're going to get all the options over here. And there you can sign in from Google and then you can simply log in with Epic Games without putting your credentials again and again. Next step, I have told this in the previous video as well. You should not, no matter what happens, use any kind of proxy or VPN service. Whatever game you're playing, it's not about Fortnite. Any other game can also get affected. So if you're having any kind of VPN or proxy service, make sure that you go to app management and you check whether any VPN is installed or not. If it is installed, I would highly recommend to uninstall it and then simply try to sign in. I'm pretty sure your problem will be fixed immediately because probably due to the VPN, even though it's not connected, you're getting the issue. Uninstall them immediately. But if you're, let's say you have a paid VPN, then I would highly recommend to close it down while playing the game and then try to sign in. See if that helps. Next step, we'll change our DNS server manually. For this, what you have to do is scroll down this, go to settings, find something which is called as connection and sharing. It may be named something different on your phone depending on which phone you have, but make sure you see the word connection or network. So simply press this and you have to choose something which you call as private DNS. And over here, as you can see, for now, my phone takes a DNS server automatically, but you have to choose designated private DNS choose this and as you can see I have already put a DNS server for me so you have to put exactly this particular DNS I will put this in the description as well or in the pinned comment or you can pause the screen and just type this exactly same command this is a Cloudflare DNS server which can help you and make the connection stable so that you can log in, in perfectly so make sure you do this press the tick go back and then restart your phone open Epic Games Launcher try logging in see if your problem is fixed Lastly, what you can do is in the settings tab over here, you can search over here developer mode or developer options and make sure this is on and scroll down and make sure these two settings verify byte code of debuggable apps is on and the logger size per log buffer should be 256k. So make sure these two settings are properly placed. Once it is done, after all these steps, make sure you try to sign in. If you're still having the issue, I would ask you three things in the comment section. First and foremost, which model of phone you having? Secondly, which Android version you're using? And thirdly, whether developer mode is on or off? Make sure you put these three things serial wise in the comment section and I'll provide you a better fix for that after knowing your device. That will be it for the video. Hope it helps. If it did, please don't forget the like button. Consider subscribing and the bell icon. If you have any other issues, you can tag me in my X handle, put a screenshot. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.